Bengaluru is growing rapidly. More and more people are moving into the city and this has also, also increased the number of people who own pets. However, the trouble starts when these pets die as there is only one crematorium in the city. Here's a detailed report on the same. Bengaluru is always known as pet friendly city. But is it truly pet friendly? People generally take strolls with their pets in the city. Some even dress them up and take them to different competitions. But with the number of pet owners on the rise, there is one problem that is also increasing. And that problem is lack of animal crematoriums. As a solution to the problem, BBMP had started an animal crematorium centre in Sumanahalli five years ago. However, it was the responsibility of the people to get the dead pets to the crematorium. Animal carcass disposed of on roads. Lack of awareness among pet owners. As the number of pet owners increased, they found it hard to cremate their dead pets considering that there is a lack of awareness and even accessibility. This has led to the animal carcasses being dumped on roads. This has in turn caused problems for parakarmikas who have to pick up the dead carcass and send it to the crematorium. The dead carcasses will also be a source for the spread of diseases. When the BBMP commissioner was asked about the issue, this is what he said. You know, the pet lovers who are so fond of uh, having uh, dogs as pets, they must also ensure that if the pet dies, they should have a, give a decent burial to it. Huh? And that's why we have set up a uh, pet crematorium at Sumanalli. And there, uh, there is a lot of capacity available. Anybody whose uh, pet has died, they can always bring it there and uh, cremate their uh, pets. As the crematorium is situated in Sumanahali, many in the rest of the city are not aware of its existence. Activists, however, feel that building these crematoriums is very much necessary and the BBMP should also create awareness among people. Bangalore has developed uh, uh, to a large extent and everywhere there is development so what is happening is that you know if an, any animal dies okay there is uh, not much uh, crematorium there is only one crematorium that is there in uh, Mysore road okay and uh, since Bangalore has become big BBMP limits now if an animal dies okay what happened the burial is the problem because you don't find empty spaces in uh, Bangalore you know the animal husbandry department should uh, earmark okay uh, crematoriums okay in all the BBMP zones BBMP has no plans to build more crematoriums. A source in the BBMP said that based on the success of the first crematorium, BBMP had also planned to build more crematoriums in different zones in the city. However, even after five years, the first crematorium was built. The BBMP has not even thought of building more crematoriums. When the BBMP commissioner was asked about the corporation's plan to expand these crematoriums, he said that the people should use the current crematorium first before asking for more. First, let them use the facility which is available. If you are not able to use the existing facility to its full capacity, where is the question of creating new capacity? It is not that we have crematoriums established at the doorsteps of everybody. No, crematoriums have to be kept on the outskirts only and that is where it has been kept. And people should go, if they really love their pets, they should take it there and do a decent cremate. The commissioner may have a point, but what the Palike needs to understand is that it is not feasible for a person residing in an electronic city or Devanarli to come to Sumanahalli to cremate their pet. Increased number of pet owners and the lack of crematoriums has certainly led to the improper disposing of the dead pets. Activists are hoping that more plants will be built in the city. However, it is up to the BBMP to install more crematoriums in different parts of the city, making it easier for people to bury their pets. A Newsland report.